everyone, welcome back to the Bat Prototype, and I'm doing another vanilla Minecraft tutorial. And this one is going to be on armor and such. So the first thing I wanted to cover is what you can make armor out of, and similar to your tools and weapons, um, they go leather, um, this is an iron nugget, which is <laughs> in place of flame because you cannot craft chainmail. Um, unless you use cheats and fire, and that's the whole other thing. Uh, gold, iron, and diamond. Of course, it goes from weakest to strongest. Now, the next four, I will show you how to create the crafting shapes. And the helmet is, and of course I'm using leather as an example, uh, you want to have the top row all filled in, and this again could be like diamond or iron or whatever. And then the second row, you want one on each side, leaving the middle blank and the bottom row blank. And that creates your helmet. With the chest in a crafting table, you want to fill it all in, except for the top middle. For pants, you want to do both left and right completely filled in, and the top row completely filled in, leaving the middle, the middle middle, <laughs> the center, and the bottom center. Um, blank and for boots you want to have two pieces parallel to each other leaving the center blank and you can move this to the top as well it doesn't have to be at the bottom of the crafting table to create the boots now I am going to show you the different armors and what they look like on the armor stands and how much armor points you get uh, and this will be the full set. I'm not doing it individually. Uh, so for a full set of leather armor, you get seven armor points. And I'll show you what I mean. Oh, actually, I don't need to do that. Um, <laughs> cause apparently I already put on some iron. Not iron, but uh, diamond armor. There we go. So as you can see above the hearts at the bottom of the screen, there is a full set of um, chest plates that shows you that since I'm wearing diamond they're all filled in. Now if I remove one, let's take away the boots, you see that I lose about a chest plate and a half. Now that is where you can see how much armor you have to protect you um, and sometimes people don't pay attention and <laughs> their armor breaks um, because you don't always go into your inventory to check it, that's a good way of eyeballing to see if maybe you uh, broke one. Now the gold armor, which I don't recommend in general wearing because it's kind of a waste of gold and it's not very durable uh, as shown with the 11 points of armor and you can use gold for other things. Now chainmail, a little bit stronger but not by much, with 12 points you can only get this by uh, killing mobs wearing it and it drops it or finding it in like a, dun a, <clears throat> a dungeon. Now iron uh, is probably the most used, easiest to make, um, to find or to make it, uh, and it is 15 points of armor. I recommend this for most of the game, except for end game stuff like the ender dragon fights and the wither skeleton, then you would probably <laughs> prefer to do a diamond armor, which is what I'm currently wearing. And this gives you the most armor points at 20. But similar to the gold, you don't really want to waste um, your ore or diamond because, uh, you know, you could find some better uses for it. Now, since we're covering armor uh, and they're on the armor stand, I figured I'd show you how to make it. Now, all you need is six sticks. You put it at the top row, one in the center, and then one on each side of the bottom row. And in the bottom center, you have a stone slab. So you can make this very early in the game. Now, we players are not the only ones that have armor. We also have horses that have armor. Now, similar to what we have, it has armor points, and with the gold armor, the weakest, it has five. With iron, which is the most common, of course, uh, has seven. 
and with the diamond it has uh, 11 armor points. Uh, you don't see leather because <laughs> at least I think in the pocket edition you can create saddles um, and that's made out of leather. So, so this is kind of you know, I don't need to look at your butt. <laughs> These are kind of what they look like. I like the diamond one look best. The most contrasting one is the gold and show us. <laughs> and the iron's just there. Now, this is also part of armor is the shield. And how to create it is you get six pieces of wood of any sort, um, make a boat creation, full center, one on each side of the top row and one in the center bottom and the center top you put an iron ingot that gives you a shield. Now you can also make a unique looking shield by adding a banner to the shield such as I believe it is, yep, that's all you have to do. You can put it in your little shapeless crafting in the inventory or do it in the crafting and you can come up some, with some really neat looking shields that's for certain. Now I will show you shortly <laughs> what drops this but this is the Totem of Undying which when you have this applied in one of your hands um, be it you fall or get exploded by a creeper this basically is your like last stand save. <laughs> it, it makes it so you don't die when generally you would um, and it also re gives you regen over um, a few a few minutes so and what drops this is the evoker and you want to kill this sucker very quickly because it will want <laughs> there we go it wants to spawn those little little boogers but as you can see, it dropped another Totem of Undying. So you can find that from one of the evokers. And that pretty much covers the rest of the armor. And again, I'll go into a little bit more on some other aspects of uh, weapons and whatnot, like bows and arrows, in another tutorial. And I did want to make a note. You may have noticed it's completely enclosed with some lights and all that. Uh, that is because when I have to turn off peaceful, everything spawns, and especially at night, and slimers get everywhere. And though it can happen a little bit, it tends not to, <laughs> the way I have it set up now. So just thought some of you guys might notice that and figured I'd share. So if you haven't seen a tutorial you want to see, let me know, and I will make that next. I do have a list of things to go through, a very, very long list, but if you would like to see something before uh, it's set up to, uh, let me know, and I will post it soon. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.